All right, guys, tonight we are going to be looking at the bevel gear assembly. Um, with this one, we're going to have to rely on the animation and the images that I have inserted um, because with distance learning, I do not have any bevel gears at home with me. So you'll see the VEX build located on the right side of the screen. This shows what um, it would look like had I built it for you. You'll notice here where I'm putting my arrow in the center here that the bevel gears um, do not have anything located uh, at the end. This is normally where we would have inserted a shaft collar, uh, but with bevel gear assemblies, we rely on the gears being perfectly locked in that 90 degree formation to hold them in place. So we would not actually be putting a shaft collar here or here because if we let that shaft poke out too far, then they'll butt up against each other right there at that 90 degree angle and then your gears won't turn. So let's take a look at some of the criteria here as far as the how the gears function. Um, this also is a reversible gear system. So either one of those bevel gears could work as your input. Um, and then obviously the other would be your output. Uh, they are the same size in the picture on the right, which means it would be the same size speed. Uh, it would be the same input and output speed. Um, if we're looking at the animation on the bottom left of the screen, then this is going to directly relate back to the um, simple gear train B. If you power the large gear, you're going to have a faster speed. You power the small gear, you're going to have a slower speed. Um, the important part to note with bevel gears is that they do have that 90 degree turn. Uh, notice that they are different if you need to go back and look at the gears that have been used in the previous assemblies. Um, these are cut at an angle, so they don't interlock side by side. They have to lock at that 90 degree angle. Um, if you look closely again here on the right, you'll see that that is cut at a longer groove rather than the teeth on the outside edge of the gear. Um, with this assembly, they can be kind of temperamental. Um, putting them together, they have to, again, be locked perfectly at that 90 degree angle. Notice here, they're perfectly interlocked. We don't have any space. We have to make sure that they're both fitting together. They do work pretty well as a propeller. Um, if you wanted to have something spinning on the top of a structure or something spinning at the back, um, you would be able to add your power and you could see that if there were a shaft moving through this um, animation here through the gold gear, um, it would be spinning something in the back. So they do work pretty well as a propeller system because of that 90 degree turn. Um, they are reversible. And again, we're locking those in at that perfect 90 degree angle so that we are able to keep them threaded together and then also from coming off of our system.